Let's see if you understand enough math to figure out this simple math question. So only one of these numbers right here works in this equation. So we have a box which uh, represents a number squared divided by this box is equal to this box times this box. Now, what you're going to do is test each one of these numbers in this box. You're not going to use multiple numbers. You're only going to use one number at a time. And only one of these numbers makes this equation true. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain why the answer is what it is. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need additional help in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, you're going to take a number. Let's take uh, this number, for example, two. And you're going to plug it in just like this and then do the math and see if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So which one of these numbers right here work in this equation? Well, the correct answer is C, which is 1. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I disagree. I actually think another number works as well. Well, I'm going to explain every one of these answers and tell you why C is the only correct uh, option. Okay, so let's see how uh, this math works right now. So to figure out the correct answer here, we need to review some basic math concepts. So the first thing is that we are dealing with an equation, all right? So we have this equals sign, and what does an equation mean in math? Well, it means that the right-hand side, whatever this is, is equal in value to the left-hand side. So, for example, 4 is equal to 4 is an equation because 4 over here on the left is equal to 4 on the right. So, this is a valid or true equation. But if I state 4 is equal to 5, well, this is not true. So, this is not a correct or a valid equation. So what we're trying to do here is determine which one of these numbers, such that when we plug them in to these boxes, is going to create the same number on the left and the same number on the right. So that's uh, kind of the first big picture concept here. Now the second thing is that we are dealing with mathematical operations. So we have division, multiplication, and powers. So anytime you have multiple operations in a math problem, you need to be thinking about PEMDAS. And PEMDAS is the correct order of operations in any math problem. So this little acronym here is really a checklist that goes from left to right. So let's just do a quick review here of what this means because we're going to need to be thinking about PEMDAS in this problem. So P stands for parentheses. So if you have any parentheses in a math problem, let me just make up a simple example. So if I had three times two plus one and then brackets, and by the way, uh, this P stands for parentheses, but it means grouping symbols. So you can use brackets or even these type of squiggly brackets. It's if you group numbers together. So in this simple example right here, I'm grouping uh, three times two. So in this problem, uh, this is a grouping symbol. Okay, so we have some parentheses here. So we start here, and uh, the way PEMDAS works is you always start from the innermost parentheses if you have multiple grouping symbols. Okay, now these little boxes here are technically variables, so we can think of these as parentheses. I'll uh, explain this a little bit better uh, as we get into the video. But anyways, we don't have any big parentheses with multiple things like uh, division or multiplication to do inside, i.e. something like this. Okay, so that is what P stands for. Now, E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as powers. So that is what E stands for. So, for example, if you have 2 to the third power, this little 3 up here is called the exponent. The 2 is called the base. The entire thing is a power. 
So you can see here, we do have an exponent. Okay, so we're gonna have to think about this as we walk through the correct order of operation. Now, after all, all these powers, the next thing we have is M, D, A, and S. Now, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, a lot of people think, well, the next thing to do is multiplication. Well, that's not the way PEMDAS works. So the next thing is multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right, and then any addition and subtraction, whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so you need to understand the correct order of operations to uh, check these values. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is select a number. As a matter of fact, we're gonna start with two. We're gonna plug in two right here, and then we're gonna do the math on the right-hand side and the math on the left-hand side and see if this equation is true, i.e. if this number, when we plug it into the equation, is what we call a solution. A solution is a number such that when you plug it into the equation, it creates a statement where the left-hand side is indeed equal to the right-hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and start checking these numbers and we'll start off with two. So again, we have to be thinking about PEMDAS, right? So uh, are there any parentheses? Well, as I indicated, this little box is actually like a variable. So when you plug in, matter of fact, let me do it, uh, do it this way. We can get rid of these boxes, okay? And actually put uh, X's here. So we can have X squared divided by X is equal to X times X, like this. So for those of you that know a little bit of algebra, remember a variable like Y, X, and Z. These are symbols that represent a number, okay? That's all a variable is. And you don't have to use letters. You can use things like boxes, circles, and triangles. There's all different types of variables. So these boxes here are really variables. Okay, so we're gonna plug in our uh, two here and check this math. So the first place, we'll start on the left-hand side here. So we have exponents, okay? We don't have anything really in parentheses to do, but we do have exponents. We have to start right here. Okay, so two squared is what this means. Take two and multiply it by itself. So two times two is four. So now we have four divided by two. Okay, so four divided by two is what? Well, four divided by two is two. So this is what we uh, got on the left-hand side of the equation. So over here, we have two times two. Two times two is four. So is two equal to four? Well, this is not true. So two is not a solution. This, uh, this does not work in our equation. Okay, so if you understand this, well, then all we have to do is check the rest of these numbers. And let's go ahead and check zero because zero is a very interesting number. And then we'll check uh, these ones here in just one second. Okay, so here is zero into our equation. So we have zero squared divided by zero is equal to zero times zero. So this time we'll start on the right hand side. So zero times zero is zero. Okay, that is the correct answer. No problem there. But remember on the left hand side, we have to start with powers. So zero squared means what? Well, that means zero times zero. Zero times itself, which is zero. So no problem there. So now we have zero divided by zero. And this is where we have a major problem. Okay, so zero divided by zero means take zero and divide it by zero. Okay, so you can write this as a fraction and you cannot divide by zero in mathematics, right? This is what we call undefined. So this is not allowed in math. So zero will not work because it creates an undefined impossible situation. So that means uh, we're down to negative one and one. And this is where you have to be very careful when you plug these numbers into this equation. And I'm gonna show you this uh, in just one second. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. Now, a lot of you that are pretty good in math could make a good argument that negative one works here. 
but negative one does not work. And I'm gonna show you why right now. So remember, these boxes are basically variables. So if we think of this uh, setup as x squared divided by x is equal to x times x. So instead of these boxes, uh, we'll just use uh, the variable x. Now what we're doing here in algebra is called evaluating this equation or this expression for this number here, uh, which means that you're going to take a value, a numeric value, and replace the variable with this value and do the math. So this is called evaluating in algebra. And when you do this, you must always use parentheses to plug in your number into these variables. So for example, if I said evaluate this equation for x uh, is equal to negative one. Matter of fact, I'm just going to erase all of this right here. And let's just uh, focus in on x squared because this is the real interesting part of this problem. So I have x squared, and if I said evaluate this expression, x squared for x is equal to negative one. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you're going to replace this x with a negative one. So do we write this this way, negative one squared? No, that is incorrect, because the way we actually write this is parentheses negative one squared. So anytime you are evaluating a number for a variable, you must use parentheses. So these two things right here are not the same. So negative one squared written this way means take negative one and multiply it by itself. So negative one times negative one is a positive one. And over here, this negative one squared written like this, this is the opposite of one squared. Okay, so this means take one and square it. So that's one times one or a positive one and then put a negative sign in front of that answer. So this is actually negative one. So this expression in math, negative one squared written like this is not the same as this. This is a very, very common error in uh, algebra, okay, a lot of students confuse this. So anytime you are evaluating, especially negative values, you have to pay attention. Okay, so now that we understand that, let's see why negative one does not work here. So the first thing that we need to do on the left-hand side is take negative one and square it. So remember, we're treating these boxes like a variable. So it's like x squared. So this really means take negative one, okay, we're plugging it in, into the variable and squaring it. So we're going to go negative one times negative one, which is a positive one. Okay, so this right here is going to be a positive one. Okay, so a lot of you uh, probably got this as a negative one, but now, uh, hopefully now, you know, I kind of cleared up any confusion. So now we have a positive one divided by a negative one. So what is a positive divided by a negative? Well, the answer is negative. So this here is a negative one. Okay, so that is the left-hand side. And then over here on the right-hand side, we have a negative times a negative. That's always going to be positive. So negative one times negative one is a positive one. So you can see here, this is not true. So this uh, option B, uh, negative one also does not work. Now, of course, uh, just by elimination, we can see that the correct answer is C. But uh, let's go ahead and just check this math just to uh, be comfortable that indeed this is correct. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and plug in 1 here and check this. So 1 squared is what? Well, that's 1 times 1, positive 1. So a positive 1 divided by a positive 1 is a positive 1. And then a positive 1 times a positive one is also a positive one. So this is true. This is the number that works. So remember a number that satisfies an equation, i.e. makes the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side is called a solution. This is a very important concept in mathematics and uh, especially in algebra because you, you know, work with a lot of equations. But uh, hopefully, you know, you knew this and if you didn't and if you learned something, well, that's the whole purpose of this video. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. 
Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.